Today, we will discuss the chapter 2, History of Organization Development. This chapter highlights eight major traditions of OD research and practice. At the end of this chapter, you will understand how today's practice of OD has undergone many years of research and practice to reach its current state. Our group members as follows. History of ODI consists of eight major traditions of ODI research and practice. The eight strands are as follows. The table summarizes the eight strands of ODI review and show how ODI's history influences the field today. Now we discuss on first time laboratory training and tea group. Kurt Levin is a founder of modern social psychology, interested in studying patterns of group behavior, social problems, and the influence of leadership in a group. In 1945, Levin established a research center for group dynamic at MIT. Inspired by that, Kenneth Bain, Leland Bradford, and Roland Lippitt developed and established the National Training Laboratory. What is T Group? T Group is a small, unstructured group facilitated to explore personal issues, also sometimes called sensitivity or laboratory training, in which the learners use feedback, problem solving, and role play to gain insight into themselves, others, and groups. The goal is to change the standards, attitudes, and behavior of individuals. In 1947, the National Training Laboratory, led by Kurt Levin, start up their first T group session in Battleman. Now we discuss on second strengths, action research, survey feedback, and social technical system. On action research, the process of bringing social research practices to people and group to develop theoretical and practical knowledge and contribute to change. This model action research to capture the idea that the research project at their core always had both pragmatic and theoretical components and that rigorous scientific method could be used to gather data about groups and to intervene the process. Survey Research Center was founded in 1946 under the direction of Francis Ting. The goal was to create a hub for social science research, especially with survey research expertise. A social technical system was developed in 1950s. This concept generally traced to a study of offered group in a British coal mine. Now let's discuss the strengths management practices. Management practices and based on new research findings, McGregor, Linker, Blade and Mountain and Hesburgh proposed new way of management in order to improve productivity and employee motivation. It is based part of finding from survey feedback on social technical system project several research program in 1960. The aim of this research program was to offer alternative way of managing in contrast of the dominant method of the time. There are four notable research programs, which is Douglas McGregor Theory X and Y, Linkage for System of Work System, Blade and Mountain Management Grid, and Hesburgh Motivation Hygiene Theory. Theory X and Y are theory of human work motivation and management created by Douglas McCrack. Now we look on Likert four system of management. First, exploitative authoritative. Second, benevolent authoritative. Third, consultative. And the last one is participative. Next, Blake and Mountain Managerial Grid, developed in early 1960s by management theorists Robert Blake and Jane Mountain. 
Next, expert motivation hygiene theory. He set up to determine the effect of attitude on motivation and finding reveal that certain characteristics of a job are closely related to job satisfaction. Fourth, strengths, quality and employee involvement. Follows out of new set of management practices involve employee more in management and operation of organization, beginning particularly in manufacturing and industrial environment. On the fourth strength, we discuss four quality and employee involvement, the chief quality circle, total quality management, and six sigma. Quality circles can be described as a small group of employees of the same work area doing similar work and meets voluntarily and regularly to identify, analyze, and resolve work-related problems. Total Quality Management ISO 9000 It started early 1920s when statistical theory was first applied to product quality control and it was further developed in Japan in 1920s. Six Sigma started by Carl Frederick Gauss, who introduced the concept of normal curve. It is back on the 1920s when the water share part showed that three sigma from the main is the point where a process requires correction. We move on fifth strength, organizational culture. It is shared attitudes, value, belief, and custom of members of a social unit and organization. Interest exploded in 1980s with books and magazine articles that suggest that the right culture can improve productivity and profits. Each undertake culture audits evaluate themselves against competitors, try to create strong cultures. There are few elements of cultures, such as language, metaphor, communication, artifact, stories, ceremonies, ritual, value, ethic, decision making, and more. Six strengths change management, strategic change, and re engineering. This practice grew rapidly in the 1990s and 1990s. Body become more strategic connected to organization wide concerns. Practitioner have executive with vision, mission statement, values, strategic planning, implementations. Leaders realize that the right strategy is meaningless unless communicated, understood, and adopted by all members. The change management movement encourages practitioners to address the organization vision, mission, goal, and strategies. Seven stands organizational learning. Grows in 1990 with the publication of Peter Sanger's book, The Fifth Discipline. They have five disciplines of creating a learning organization, which is a shared vision, mental models, personal mastery, team learning, and system thinking. A shared vision means all employees if a company share the same vision of where the organization needs to go instead of vision statement where management has written where the organization should be going. Mentor models describe the presumption and generalization people has which influence their action. Personal mastery describes the strength of people to be proactive and keep on learning to continuously achieve results which are important for them. Team learning 
includes two aspects, effective teamwork leads to results which individuals could not have achieved on their own and individuals within a team learn more and faster than they would have without the team. System thinking is used to analyze patterns in an organization by looking at it from a holistic viewpoint rather than small unrelated manageable parts. Last on eight strengths tradition of Odin, we will discuss on organizational effectiveness and employee engagement. Organizational effectiveness replaces organization development as a preferred term in some practitioner circle, maybe an attempt to stress the business result focus. Engagement replaces earlier term such as motivation, moral, and satisfaction. It refers to the individual's involvement and satisfaction. Literature on an individual's job satisfaction, productivity, and motivation is substantial. That's all for Chapter 2, History of Organization Development, and thank you. See you again.